Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another resin project. So today, the girls and I are breaking out a silicone bowl to make not a home decor piece, not a decoration piece. Typically, I like to do things that are beautiful and functional to be used in your home, but today we're breaking out a few fun jewelry molds. I'm going to be showing you how to make a few bracelets, a few earrings, things that would be great stocking stuffers or gifts for friends that you can make several at once, knock them out of the park, handmade from the heart for your loved ones. And they're really fun and easy. So, you know, checks all the boxes. We're gonna get started and then I will show you a close up at the end. Let's do it. All right, y'all, so let's jump right in to mixing our resin. So we are going to start by putting on all of our protective gear, because that is always the most important. So, dun -dun -dun -dun. go ahead and put on my gloves, put on my respirator, and now I am going to make several projects at once, even though I'm going to be showing you these projects one at a time. And so in order to make the four or five different fall projects I'm working on. I'm going to go ahead and mix 900 milliliters of resin and then I'll split it between those projects. I will put on the screen here how many milliliters we use for each individual project on that video. Um, and I am of course using my Total Boat Maker Poxy. This is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. If you want a full in-depth mixing tutorial for resin, I did just release my resin for beginners course. I will link that down below. I go over every single step in detail for all kinds of things, but mixing resin is lesson number one, because if you're gonna make anything with resin, kind of an important step. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna mix 900 milliliters of resin here, and then we will get started with our individual fall projects. I'm so excited. We have so many fun things to make today. So as always, just dun da 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 One pump. So one pump, I'll be back once this is all mixed up and ready to roll. All right, so we've got all our resin mixed. We've got about, well, it doesn't really matter because we're using different amounts for each project, <laughs> but we've got about half copper and half of the copper flakes. So we're going to go ahead. I've let them sit for a minute. I'm going to use my heat gun to pop all those bubbles. <gasps> least any bubbles that have come to the surface. Of course, we are using a silicone mold today, so we want to use a heat gun instead of a torch. That way we do not melt our silicone mold. But I'm going to go ahead and move everything out of the way so that we can bring our uh, silicone mold in and get started. All right, y'all, so I've got a couple molds. These are for a bracelet and these are for earrings. I've got some copper maker poxy. Dun, 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 dun. So this is that one-to-one -one formula. Saw me mix up earlier. Love it. And we are going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to try to pour this in a thin stream. Ooh, that's way too, way too thick, way too thick. Abort, abort. This is, would be easier with a smaller cup or a syringe. Give me a second and see what we can do here. It will self-level. It will kind of 
work its way down into the crevices. And while it can go across the top here, the more across the top you do, the more cleanup you'll have to do afterwards with an X-Acto knife. So it's not really ideal. better. Give me a second. All right. So step one, some Q-tips. We're just going to clean up the resin from around that way. You have less cleaning up to do once it's cured. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want to have to cut too much off with the exacto knife or sand too much. So from here, I got a little syringe and we're gonna see if this is easier. Not sure that's easier or not. Grabbed a paper towel, so maybe if we go in with a clean tip. Let's go over here. Okay, that's working better. Part of it's that I'm uncoordinated, y'all. That's a whole other issue. But I do think this is working better. And we have our Q-tips here in case we need to continue to clean up. Now... These with the link are a little wider than the ones without the link. I do think that will play a factor. Let me get in here and see. Better. I typically do big pieces, not jewelry. So this is very new for me. I'm also not 100% sure that a UV resin wouldn't be better for something like this that you can cure faster. But I had this resin mixed up, ready to go. So we're going to use it. 
right, we're looking good, we're looking good. And add a little bit more here. I think if I could lift this straight up better, that would help. All right. Straight up. Let that level out. We're getting better at it. It's not perfect, but you know. Yeah, that one was good. This is gonna be a minute, so I'm gonna put y'all on fast forward. Okay, so start with a clean syringe wiped off and I found the easiest way to fill these is to push the syringe all the way down so it's touching the bottom and then slowly start to squeeze out the resin, pulling the syringe as you do, squeeze, squeeze, pull, pull, then work it all the way to the other side. At the very end, I wanna push out the last bit of the resin and then lift straight up, waiting until any resin has fallen into the little link there. And luckily one full syringe is pretty much one full link. So that's a little strange, but this is a one milliliter syringe. I'm sure you can order them. I'll try to find y'all a link. This is literally just, I have a bunch of extra ones of these from my vet for when I needed them for one of my animals. I use them for resin sometimes. You just never want to use one for resin and then put it back for a pet. Once it's resin, it's resin. There's a little bubble right here that I can see. I need to pop it. There we go. So again, the top doesn't need to be perfectly clear. You just want it to be kind of away from the sides. Oh, I'll go in up here, just kind of clean up anything that's beaded up too close to the links. That way when we pop these out, it'll be easy enough to do. I'm going to go ahead and fill up some of these earring ones so that I have a matching earring bracelet set. I need a little bit more in this one. I'm going to do the matching one. And the main thing with the earrings is that you do need to make sure you 
you work the resin with a typically a toothpick is easier but syringe finger whatever all the way around that little earring hole otherwise you'll have to drill through which isn't hard but you know got a lot of resin i'm gonna have to go get another mold to make something don't like to waste any let's do this leaf one i like the leaf These make cute keychains too. They don't have to just be earrings. Make sure you pop the bubbles because sometimes working the resin over like this will create bubbles. And I always use, of course, my heat gun on silicone molds because a torch can melt your mold. These little hearts, the um, earring spot, earring hole here is far enough away from the edge that sometimes I'll just add the resin directly over it and let it self level down into the pan. And then you know it's completely surrounded. But that's harder on some of these bigger ones where the pieces are closer. Once resin hits an area, it will keep flowing to that area, but it has to get there first. That makes sense. you're using your syringe make sure that you try as hard as you can not to get too much air in the barrel because of course air creates bubbles and we are you're trying to avoid bubbles as much as possible so don't need to introduce them
many bubbles on that one. Here. All right, so let's pop all these bubbles. Pop off the moons just a little. There. There. We need to make sure all of our links have enough resin. And then I think we're gonna call this good. We will set this aside for 24 hours and then we will undo our, unmold our links. I want to make sure they are still a little bendy so that we can actually put our bracelet together to cure properly. I'm not 100% sure how putting this together is going to go. You can see that half the links have openings and half don't, so open link, closed link, but fitting them together, I have a feeling, is going to be interesting. And if you wait until they're too cured, they'll just snap. Although you can heat them up a little after, say, if you wait 24 hours and they're just a little too cured, you can always heat them up just a smidge with your heat gun or even in the oven as long as you're being safe. You don't want, again, you never want resin touching anything that you use for food. So I hesitate to put them in an oven that you're using for food. heat gun would be better. I have an old microwave that I use just for crafts. It's not as good as when I had a craft oven, but you know, you do what you do. And obviously I wouldn't put it on a food cooking pan or anything. All my cooking pans I have for resin are just for resin, but I just don't really like the fumes at all in my kitchen. That's why I work outside or in my, working on my work shed right now so I can start using that. All right, y'all, I think we are going to call that good. Starting to get a little uh, thick here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out my little syringe. That way I can keep using it for resin. And find something else to put this resin in. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all. Let's do our earrings. So we're just gonna pop these out. Oh, those are so cute. I might make keychains with the hearts. I don't know why, but I just feel like they'd be so cute, like a bunch of them dangling together. But I have big plans for these leaves. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these moons, but they are cute. I kind of expected them with, to hang the other way. You know, like this, but the, the hole is at the bottom. I imagine it doesn't matter. Maybe there'll be one for each side. Let's see. Nope, they're the same. Go figure. I have to sand this off. I got some hair in this one. Yeah, for the most part, came off. That one's cute. I'd say it might hang well with that. I actually have some rose gold metal leaves that would look really cute on the front of those. Oh, that's going to be cute. That's going to be super cute. All right. 
you can see these literally just pop out like this is not hard at all this is the most like i love pouring the resin and popping the bubbles but i'm pretty sure unmolding is the most fun and you can see i just i love that copper metallic paint it gives the pieces such a pretty shift color shift i could make like i do leaf earrings here leaf earrings here a keychain and moon earrings i have some cricket sublimation blanks i think i'm gonna pair these with so that'll be a nice set these with the metal leaves will be a nice set keychain oh, that rooster that's like at least four gifts right there and then the bracelet so let's go ahead and unmold this I think this might make two bracelets. It seems like a lot of links. But I don't know. I love to make handmade personal gifts. And people love resin. So anytime I make resin gifts, people are just like, oh my God, that looks so fancy and cool. And I'm like, yeah, you guys saw it is not hard. It is just pouring. This mold is the hardest one I've poured in a while because I had to get down in those crevices. I'm just going to keep popping these links out. And then we'll see if they go together easy or hard. never done this bracelet I also think if you're a glutton for punishment clear resin with little flowers would make such a pretty bracelet especially like somebody grows their own flowers like has a pretty garden you could go get some pretty little flowers from their garden and make them a resin bracelet with their own flowers I'll link below, but I did a video on clear ornaments with flowers from my garden this year. That same concept, but in a bracelet. I just feel like it would be so unique. All right, let's see. Oh, that's easy. Okay. I really thought this was going to be like complicated. So here's the question, which is, as easy as this is, once I get it together, can it just come apart in five seconds or less? Like, it's really sturdy. I'm gonna have to wear it around for a little bit. Let's see what I think. I'm not sure how many links I need for a bracelet. This is so much fun. I haven't made jewelry in a long time. Oh, I'm having fun. So I'm literally just kind of twisting the link a little bit to make an opening and then pushing this through. So with the next one, I'm just going to see how it kind of makes an opening. You can see it's like a little V. So I'll just push it through. Whoever designed this mold actually did really well. There we go. All right, so we're going to need an open link in between. Let's see how... So chunky and cute. Let's see if one more will do it. I think one more. I think one more will do it. All right, so I'm going to put an open link on. And then let's see. Let's see if I can't bracelet myself into this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm wearing a resin bracelet, you guys. Like a chain one. That is so cute. I wish I had like a thin one to go with it, but that is actually really cute. So let's see. It took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I definitely have enough for two, especially because I have small hands and small wrists. If I needed a couple more lengths to make it bigger, I would have enough. You could make a necklace, but I like it as a bracelet. I like it as a bracelet. So I could either give two separate people bracelets or I could give someone a bracelet and earring set. Huh. These are fun. I mean, look, I love resin. I make dozens of resin projects every month for y'all, but also for me. And I really do enjoy it. That's one of the reasons I do it. But this is the first time I've had like, I don't even know. This is the first time I've had like a giddy fun moment in a while. Short of un unmolding something. I always have fun when I'm unmolding and I get to finally see how something looks and if it worked. And while this is a fun present, I did a, I've done so many like decor pieces of resin this, this season and last season. So if you're looking for that, don't worry, I got you covered. I'll link a few of my favorites below. But for now, definitely easier with two people. Come on. Maybe if I do it the other way, it'd be easier. I will give you guys a close up look at these. I'm pretty excited about them. There we go. I love it with two, even if I would prefer one be skinny, but I actually really like it with two. So maybe I'll give one person both. All right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna go finish these earrings. Ta-da! Okay, so I grabbed my jewelry pliers and I just added a few jump rings and earring hardware. I love, I wanted, I was thinking about putting copper on here, but I didn't have any copper earring toppers. And I actually really like the silver, like it pops, but we'll see. I might grab some copper ones in the future next time I make a pair and do copper on copper. You never know. So I love this. This is at least, I mean, it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, presents. I did use a bit of extra resin to make this bracelet. It is super cute. I poured it the same way as I poured everything else, but I didn't end up showing y'all because I was in a rush. Here's the thing. I have small wrists. I have small hands and I cannot wear this. So I would, I mean, this would be great for a kid, but it has to be a Old enough child to be able to fit, but a young enough child that they're not going to put it in their mouth since it is resin. So good luck with that. I think these chains are super cute. I would wear them with like, I have a thin rose gold um, bracelet. I would stack with those. Maybe some of my Pandora pieces. If you haven't watched any of those, check it out. Earrings, earrings. I think this keychain turned out super cute. I almost think I need one more little heart for like right here to make it complete. I love how it looks. And this is with the copper. So you can see the difference in the copper hardware and the silver. Like I like both, but the silver definitely pops a little more. So just depends on what you like. You could easily make these into earrings as well. So. I hope you liked this project. I think I am probably going to do a bracelet and earrings and a bracelet and earrings and then this bracelet and this keychain. I think this would be fun for a younger teen, preteen. So one, two, three presents for people on my list that I think they'll like. So I hope you liked this project, this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, 
Tell me what you would make with these molds. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.